What up, man? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Make some noise in. How y'all doing? I feel good, man. God is good, man. I was, I had an opportunity to chill with my grandfather, man. My grandfather's the legend. His name is Fred Thomas. He was the bass guitar player for James Brown. And hanging with this cat, I had a chance to meet some amazing people. I had a chance to meet Michael Jackson, my idol, at James Brown funeral. Now, it was very weird for me to walk in and see Michael, because he is different. Like, Michael has the power to touch you and make you pass out. He didn't even have to touch me. He was just talking, and I like to pass out. I mean, I'm a straight man, but, and when I got in to see Mike, it was his time to speak. Now imagine if Mike was up here right now, y'all watching Michael Jackson speak, talking for James Brown. What I'm gonna say is gonna be brief. James Brown is my biggest inspiration. I love James. My mother used to wake me up when I was laying in the bed when I was little. No matter what time it was to watch the master at work, he was my biggest inspiration. I love James Brown, and I love you all. I like to pass, slap out. My knees buckled on their own. And then I got close to him, because Michael Jackson came outside, and he came right to me to speak to me. Now, which my third grade teacher told me, Michael Jackson would never speak to a dummy. He would never speak to a dummy. But I got close to him, and I was like, what's up, Mike? He was like, hey, how you doing? My name is Michael Jackson. I paid a little bit. I got wet. I had a vagina. It would have been wet at that time. I'm dead serious. And you know, my wife, I love her to death, she's right here. She have a crush on big men that's can fight. And we went to Las Vegas and we met Mike Tyson. Now I see Mike Tyson, he's over here talking to my woman in the corner. Who gonna go say something to Mike? Who gonna go straighten him about your woman? I don't wanna get beat up or bit. You know what I'm saying? But I thought of a plan to go over here and act like I wanna be a boxer. So I went over there and, and, and he shook my hand. And I was like, man, you just passed a knockout power from you to me. Next time you see me, I'll be boxing. And he was like, well, you can do it if you want to do it, but you got to be a fighter at heart if you want to do it, because boxing is very dangerous. Somebody can hit you and break your fucking spleen. <laughs> and he was like, can I take you and your wife back to my house so we can fornicate? I not only pee peed a little bit, I pissed all over myself. <laughs> but it was this one time, man, I know she had a crush on Denzel Washington. Now, there's no man that he could compete with that at all. So what I did, we role play. I go get butt naked, get my black leather jacket, put on my badge, turn the lights off, turn my phone light on, that's my flashlight, she is my suspect. And she's on the bed, I go in there. <laughs> All right, everybody right here, I tell you what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your clothes off, you're gonna get butt naked, you're gonna lay down, I'm gonna tie you to the bed, and we're gonna do this all night by dawn. You wanna go to jail or you wanna go home? You wanna go to jail or you wanna go home? That's my time. I'm comedian Lorenzo Williams. Follow me, y'all.